What if I told you that, in the heart of West Africa, where headlines usually scream conflict and hardship, something revolutionary is quietly happening? Yes, we're talking about Burkina Faso, where a locally made electric vehicle is now rolling through the streets of Ouagadougou. And this isn't just a car, it's a statement. A symbol that Africa is not waiting for anyone. We are building, innovating, and electrifying our own path forward. If you're new here, welcome to Brand New Africa, where we spotlight the victories and vision shaping the future of this continent. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our growing Pan-African movement. Now, let's head to Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso imports an average of 60,000 cars a year. Like many other African countries, it is a major consumer of second-hand units. But in recent weeks, vehicles of a different kind have been circulating in the capital of Ouagadougou. These are electric vehicles produced by local manufacturer Itoa. According to the firm, their model boasts impressive features with a range of 330 kilometers on a single charge that can be achieved in just 30 minutes. Despite combustion-powered vehicles dominating the market, many consumers are making the switch. Given the explanations I've had about electric and solar vehicles, in terms of savings, we get 4,000 francs a week. Its maintenance is less expensive. You don't need to pay for oil filters, and you don't need to change the oil. Nearly 90% of vehicles in Burkina Faso are second-hand. Such a development might be unwelcome for dealers in this sector, but they believe they can easily adapt. We are not afraid for our market with the arrival of the vehicles. It will add value to our market. Fuel-powered vehicles are still manufactured in countries like Germany, Japan and the United States. If these countries were to enter fully into the manufacture of electric vehicles, we believe that we will also have used electric vehicles for sale. Industry players believe EVs have a huge potential in Burkina Faso. Burkinabe used to buy second-hand cars because they had no choice, because the price of new cars was out of our reach. Second-hand vehicles have problems, they have been involved in accidents, and they don't meet standards. The arrival of new electric cars has come at a good time, and the people of Burkina Faso will understand why they need to buy a new vehicle. Over the last three to four years, I've repaired 10 hybrid cars. The owners of these vehicles are now interested in electric vehicles. But the price factor will have an impact on the future of these vehicles in the country. While there is a clear interest in electric vehicles, users say the cost is still very high. If it's possible to review the prices, it will be a great relief for us. We haven't seen a vehicle that costs less than 5 million. However, demand for electric vehicles continues to grow across West Africa and the continent in general, presenting major opportunities for the Itoa EV. Research firm Modo Intelligence says Africa's electric vehicle market was valued at roughly 12 billion in 2021, but is projected to go beyond 21 billion in the next two years. In the case of Burkina Faso, the car manufacturer stated that the country has proven that innovation is not the preserve of great powers, but that it can also germinate, grow, and radiate from the heart of Sahel in Africa. Ian Kinyo, CGTN. This is the Africa they don't want you to see. Innovative, ambitious, and unapologetically forward-moving. Burkina Faso just proved again that real power doesn't come from the West. It rises from within. From electric vehicles to bold economic choices, we are watching the continent write a new chapter on our own terms. If this inspired you, hit that like button, share this with someone who needs to hear it, and subscribe to Brand New Africa so you never miss the rise of the new Africa. Stay rooted. Stay united. Stay African.